Hello, welcome to another unboxing. This time, it's a small oscilloscope. Now, the reason for buying this is I've got a music channel. I do synthesizers, and I, I'm sure you might have seen an unboxing of a synthesizer on here. Um, and I've got the Korg Monolog, and it's got a little oscilloscope. It looks so good, the effect. I thought it'd be nice to have, especially when I'm filming, to have that little visual representation of the waves. So I'm hoping this will do the job. It was about £30 on Amazon, and I think this one goes up to about 20 volts. And it says it's already built because some of these, some of these come in kit form. And the last thing I wanted was, uh, especially with my eyesight going, is messing around with tiny, tiny little soldering parts. So no, not for me. So let's see what we get. I don't want to cut that back because that might be useful. There we go. So what we get is a BNC to Crocodile Clips connector. The unit which, God that feels light, that feels incredibly light. Uh, quite a nice size screen. I would say, where's my trusty ruler? There we go. The screen appears to be, if, if the entire space is used, it's about five and a half centimeters. No, it's just over five centimeters wide and about four and a half. Yeah, something like that. No, then again, just, just over four. Just over five, just over four. And it's got a little protection. So let me jiggly on there. Now, I've never used an oscilloscope before, so I don't know much about it. So I'm hoping I'll be able to uh, just get this up and running for what I want it for. Right, so the switch is up here. That says one kilohertz, that thing's sticking out. And we've got AC, DC and ground. That's good, okay. Now I, I did buy a few more BNC connectors. Uh, I bought one to go to a stereo plug, hoping if I can plug the headphones socket or something, I might get something out of that. And also hoping um, there's different patch points on synthesizers. And I'm, I'm hoping that I can patch into different things, like, like say like an LFO, and uh, be able to have a visual representation of the, um, the LFO changing, say from sine wave to square wave, triangle, something like that. So I think that's the connector I'm going to be using. How the hell do you get these off? Never used a BNC connection before. There's one on the back of um, some of my digital equipment, but I've, I've never actually used it before. Ah, oh, I see you just twist and pull. I was being a bit careful. I accidentally bought this one, which is the more common, uh, it looks like for BNC. BNC to, I think it's 2.5. Uh, and that's way too small for anything I've got. You never know, they might come in handy in the future, so I'll hang on to it. Crocodile clips might be good because I could always put a jack plug in and, and open up the leaves, so the two the two bits, and pull them apart and do it like that if I needed to. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to use this one now. Okay, so let's see what instructions, how easy they are to look at. There's not much in the way of instructions. Tells you what each thing is. I'll just give you a quick look around this pamphlet here. You may wish to pause. Okay, 
also opens out. Oh, I think this is if you're soldering things yourself by the look of things here. Now this is for making some sort of adjustment and trim here. That's what that little tongue sticking out for. And that's more to do with soldering it. Yeah, that's that's how it can come like that, and I didn't fancy that. But looking at it, oh yeah, there are a few small things to solder in. I was going to say it, it was just big piece, but it's not. There are there are a few little bits. It's mainly ICs and things. I don't think I'd fancy um, any surface mount like this sort of stuff. I don't think I'd fancy doing that. Okay, right, what sort of battery does it take? Oh. Ah. It doesn't take a battery, it takes a 9 volts DC in. And there's an on and off switch there. Okay, so what I, I'm going to do then is I'm going to um, put one of my simps up here and wire it up and see if I get anything then and when I do get something, I'll, uh, I'll carry on with my review of this. Okay, so here we are. There's a signal now going through. And... You can zoom in and out. So zooming out... So that's 10 volts, hardly anything moving now, you see. Just go as close as I can here. Okay, so here it is at 10 volts. As I come back higher, nothing, and as we go back down, you'll see gradually you can see what's going on. Half a volt, 0.2 of a volt, 0.1 of a volt. did think actually that it wasn't working so I wired it all up and it wouldn't power up and the reason was I had a one amp nine volt uh, yeah nine volt power transformer on there and it wouldn't work so it actually draws more than one amp so I put a two amp one on which is actually up here well, not it really makes much difference you can remake it out and now it's working fine Go to 50 million. If I go really down, you can just see bits, but I can't work out how to zoom. I mean, the only controller is the voltage coming in. I can't actually zoom that way for some reason. So today, that's all too tricky. Ah, and the freeze, got a freeze there. okay but I wish we could find a way of getting rid of all this writing I just really want to see the wave anyway there we are that gives you an idea of what it's all about actually let's just open up some filters a minute and uh Oscilloscope. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.